Hello everybody, my name is Brindley from the Pelham Public Library and today I'm going to teach teens how to make felt lanterns. Welcome to the felt lantern take and make for teens. You'll notice that in your kit is a flameless candle. Please be aware you cannot use a regular lit candle for this craft. Felt is extremely flammable. Okay, so here is what is in the kit that you received from the library. A pattern, a piece of felt, a flameless candle, a piece of ribbon or cord, a plastic container to put your candle in, and a handful of rocks to help to weight the felt down. What you will also need to provide yourself is some felt tipped markers, such as a Sharpie or another type of felt tip. I'm using black because black is easy to see on any of the felt colors. Also need an X-Acto knife, or a pair of scissors. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to cut around the outside of the pattern so that you're left with this. Then you're going to lay the felt down underneath the pattern. I would also recommend putting a cutting board or something, another piece of material underneath so that when you cut, you don't cut through to your parents' table or your desk. I like to trace around the outside of my pattern before I do any of the cutting with my Sharpie. Next, you're going to take your X-Acto knife or your scissors and you're going to cut through the cardstock on all of the black lines, making sure it's cut all the way through. You might have to go over your lines a couple of times to get a cut all the way through. Don't press too hard because you don't want to go through the felt, just the paper. You'll notice that the paper does tear away a little bit, but that's no problem. When you are done, you can brush it off. I'm then going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to run my Sharpie point through the line. Now you're going to have to lift up the edge a little bit of your pattern in order to be able to draw onto the felt. I decided at this point that I needed a finer point on my marker so that it was easier to get it through and so that I could see it better. But please use any size marker tip that you have and if a ballpoint pen works for you, please do that. Once your pattern is traced onto your felt, you can brush away any of the little pieces of paper that came through when you were cutting through. Then you're going to take a pair of scissors and cut the outside of your pattern so that you have a felt circle laying in front of you. Next, you're going to cut all of the lines. Now, I found the easiest way for me was to line up my circle, make sure it was even on both sides of the line, and then follow along half of the line. And then continue to fold it and cut your lines. Thank you. 
Okay, once all of the lines are cut through your felt, you're going to take your ribbon and fold it in half and clip the top so that you have two equal pieces. Then you're going to take the outside, one of the outside cuts and you're going to take one end of the ribbon and tie a quick knot, nice and tight, and you're going to trim off any excess ribbon that you have. And then you're going to go along that slit that you've made and tie the other end of the ribbon to the other end of the slit. You're going to do this on both sides of the circle. So find the opposite slit to the one you've tied the first ribbon onto and tie your second ribbon on in the same way. Now, if you had extra ribbon at home, you could also tie it onto the other sides and bring the four pieces of ribbon up, but I just have two. Next, you're going to take your cuff and put your rocks in it. And then you're going to set it in the center of your felt lantern. Pull the little tab on the flameless candle. Turn it on. And you're going to have to take a little bit of time to figure out how it's going to sit on the rocks. Sometimes I just moved my rocks. I was okay with it not being in the center because I think it's so pretty to just have it showing through the slits that you made. And now you can hang it on a hook in your room or anywhere in your house. Like I said, if you wanted to use a piece of ribbon and tie up the other sides, you could do that as well. And that is the felt lantern.